The following trailer is rated H for honest. From the people who brought you almost all of the great RPGs of the Super Nintendo and PlayStation eras, and Mystic Quest, comes another installment in the classic series whose name gets more oxymoronic the longer it goes. Final Fantasy X. Enter the mystical world of Spira, a post-apocalyptic planet where everyone's in the same weird cult, where you'll take on a holy pilgrimage to bring down Catholic Guild Godzilla by collecting marbles, waiting for your turn, and playing a whole bunch of fantasy water polo. Slide into the ridiculous asymmetrical zip-off shorts of Titus, a physically impossible sports star and naive gagged look-alike, pulled from his native fantasy land into the real fantasy land, forced to deal with some serious daddy issues and some legendary voice acting. <laughs> then join up with Yuna, the perfect Japanese trifecta of little girl love interest, super powerful magic user, and human sacrifice, and her handful of guardians, a stoic sword fighter who's always faking a broken arm, a Middle Eastern Donatello who's even more jailbaity than Yuna, a busty black mage with a dress made of belts that no one ever mentions, a racist dude bro voiced by Bender from Futurama, and the Cookie Monster. As you quest to collect all of Yuna's Pokemon and reach the end of your journey, where you'll sacrifice your lives to take out a giant sea monster that's also your dad, until it comes back to life in like three days anyway, in the most downer fantasy game since Requiem for a Dream RPG. Experience the pinnacle of turn-of-the-century graphical fidelity as Final Fantasy X brings you visuals that blew minds in 2001, then uses them to bring you the same everybody stands in a line and waits their turn combat as the last nine games. Long, straightforward maps that relentlessly funnel you to the next cutscene, a grid-based leveling system with about as many detours as the maps, and a narrative that has pretty much the same objective from the first few hours of the game until the end. In the most linear Final Fantasy experience since Actually, they're all kind of like that. Get ready for gameplay whiplash as Final Fantasy X's unchallenging rock-paper-scissors combat has you matching the party member with the enemy for the first three-fourths of the game. With gameplay so simple, you only have to wake up when there's a boss fight, then snap to attention as the endgame suddenly starts hitting you with an actual challenge, and you get to discover a true Final Fantasy tradition, grinding. Yay? Experience a wide variety of side activities and quests, mini games that serve as pleasant distractions from the somber nature of the main story, until you reach the end game and realize that grinding doesn't have to only mean leveling up, as FF10 locks away the best equipment for your characters behind insane challenges that will have you chasing butterflies, catching monsters, racing these annoying f***ing chocobos, dodging 200 lightning bolts consecutively, and playing way, way more blitzball than anyone should. So pick up your lava lamp sword and get ready for a boatload of fake religious jargon. Because if you like your fantasy with a hefty dollop of Kingdom Hearts-esque existential bullshit, this game has totally got you covered. <laughs> Starring Meg Ryan, Unibrow, Titty Monster, Waka Waka Waka, Aren't You Being Kind of a Dick, Hates Mondays, Cosplay Patreon, and see more of my chest hair. Final fell asleep ten times. Man, that was a crazy game. Only thing that would make it even crazier is if they made a sequel where Yuna's a pop star slash treasure hunter who fights by changing outfits. <laughs> but that would never happen. Be sure to subscribe for more Honest Game Trailers and tell me what you'd like to hear me say in my awesome voice. Don't you wish your girlfriend was hot like me? I love the smell of napalm in the morning. To be or not to be, that is the question. Let me show you my Pokemans. Shut up and get in the car.